Good morning and welcome to the 2022 Royal Highland Show. We're here at Ingolston for the 200th anniversary of the Royal Highland Show on the outskirts of Edinburgh. And it's going to be a glorious day. We're really looking forward to inviting lots of people in. Um, we've got the first day, this is the first day of the four days um, this, and it's very, very busy. As you can see, the gates have opened behind us. We're starting to let people in. Um, this is seven o'clock on Thursday morning on the first day and it's brilliant to see so many people so keen and eager to get in on the first day. We'll also be going down to the pavilion later on uh, where the new members pavilion is, which many of the new members for the Royal Highland Society are, have never actually visited before because um, the keys were handed over on the day of lockdown. So many of the members are really looking forward to getting down there, seeing what the new building and facilities are like and enjoying their lunch, breakfast and dinner when they're here at the show and catching up with friends and family. Some of the highlights that many people are going to be looking forward to is catching up with friends and family. One of them specifically for me is actually seeing a lot of friends and that I've not seen for a long time just due to the pandemic and not being here for two years. But as you can imagine, all the people walking in behind me as well are probably thinking exactly the same thing. We've got loads of trade exhibitors coming to the show. The show was absolutely heaving yesterday with the setup. Um, the build-up has been very busy over the last couple of days uh, and there's lots of manufacturers, lots of agricultural machinery companies here. Go down to the food hall, make sure you go down there and see what's going on down there. There's plenty of um, companies to go and see and buy some amazing Scottish food down there. Another thing which is happening, which happened last year at the showcase, was the RAS TV. You can tune into that online throughout the next four days. Coverage starts from about 9 o'clock in the morning right through to 6 p.m. in the afternoon every single day. There's show jumping, there's sheep class uh, judging, there's cattle judging, and lots of other agricultural stuff going on as well. We're really looking forward to coming, bringing people back in. Um, there's been a lot of other people that have missed the show. A lot of people enjoy being at the show and a lot of people haven't been able to come and see the show for a long period of time. But we're hoping that bringing people back in is going to be um, very positive and lots, having lots of people back in. As you can see, people are starting to come back, come in behind us. Some of the members will be starting to join us very, very soon. And uh, some of the trade exhibitors earlier on were already walking in at six o'clock this morning to get their stands set up for coming in. Here some com come some more members of more people walking in through the gate very early, very keen and very eager. As you've probably already seen on social media, on uh, Friday and Saturday, it's been a sellout. The sellout on thir uh, Friday and Saturday. There is still tickets available on Thursday and Sunday, so please do um, get involved uh, and get your tickets bought if you would like to uh, come to the show. Um, Flora here is from our Facebook Live team, and she's Good really morning. looking forward to coming to the, being at the show. What, what's your highlight? What are you looking forward to? Oh my goodness, um, there's so much. I think always for me, it's the Clydesdales. Always look forward to seeing them. Good. Um, of all the categories because obviously there's so many. Um, I think once we've taken everyone up to see the pavilion today, I think then we've got the black faced sheep, which will be really exciting. Um, yeah, and of, of course, we're here all day long and over the last the next four days, so we'll be covering all the categories really. Uh, wide range from the sheep. Yeah, we're going to be covering the... absolutely everything. Pole climbing as well. The Quack Commandos, tune in. I can't remember what day oh, yeah. that is, but <laughs> tune in for the ducks. And uh, what else? The Lumberjack, really, as well, which is going to be really busy. But yeah, so there's going to be myself and a few other Young Farmer members as well, which are going to be hosting and presenting some of these uh, lives throughout the whole week. And uh, we're really looking forward to doing it as well. And yeah, people well, are starting to write. It's, it's a first, It's a first, really, this, isn't it? Mm. So it's nice to be able to be live, and it's nice to be able to be here. And as you said, we've, we've not been here for two years, so... Yeah. It's going to be a really exciting day. Yeah, definitely. Well, should we see if we can grab some people who are going to maybe come and chat Let's see us? if you can work your magic, Flora. Okay, mm. I'm going to do it. Let's see if she can speak to some people nicely. It's not looking positive. <laughs> Hi, very nice to meet you. To meet you. Uh, where have you travelled from today? Uh, I've been staying in Edinburgh tonight. And are you here for a trade, nice. on a trade stand? Or are you, yes. yes. To, yeah. And you're really looking forward to being back? Yeah, it's great to be back. It's just walking through here this morning was just like, can't believe it was three years ago we were last here. It's so. crazy, isn't it? And it's going to be a really good day as well. Perfect. The weather's absolutely yeah. cracking. Yeah, really looking forward and to it. What do you, are you an agricultural machinery yeah, company? Yeah, agriculture machinery. I've got two of my uh, dealers, customers are here, so I'm here to support them. 
So, uh, yeah, we're looking good, looking well. Brilliant. Thank you very much for That's joining right. us. Thank, Thank you very you. much and enjoy the rest of the day. Thank enjoy you, the show. You. Thank you. I can see some more people walking in through the gate now, getting their tickets out. <laughs> So coming in this area, there's probably going to be members as well as trade stand uh, exhibitors that are going to be um, host, uh, hosting their clients and uh, customers on their stands throughout the next four days. Good morning. Thank you very much for coming to speak to me this morning. Um, sounds like you travel from Ireland, is that correct? That is indeed. came over working here about two months ago and the only reason I came over here is I knew this would be on by the time I was over here, so sort of better than well. Are you looking forward to the, are you here for the next four days then? Yep, I am indeed, and I'm buzzing. <laughs> um, I bet, and what's, what's what are you looking forward to being back at the show and what are you looking forward to being here? Just everything, the actual buzz of the crowd itself and just out seeing the cattle, all the new machinery I see here. And that's all sort of up my street like, that's what I'm used to. So. Brilliant, That's that sounds very good. Well enjoy the rest of your tr uh, visit and uh, thank you very much for speaking to us this morning. No problem, thank, you. thank you. God, everyone's flooding in this morning. I didn't think it was this busy at 7 o'clock this morning. Flora can see if she can work her magic. Good morning. Loretta, nice to meet you. I'm Hamish. Hi, Where have you travelled from this morning? Glasgow. Glasgow. Yes. And uh, what are you looking forward to being at the show? Well, I'm actually working at the show today. We're working the luggage, so I'm working until about three, and then I'm just going to go and take in all the stalls and and the um, I think there's, there's sheep sheathing and there's horse jumping and there's a couple of gigs on, so I'm going to do that. Have you been here before? No. Well, I have a long, long time ago. I've never worked here, but I've been here a long time ago, so we're kind of lost. I've no idea where I'm going just now. <laughs> Well, we'll point you in the right direction. Okay. Don't you worry. We'll keep you right. But I think, like as you say, a lot of people haven't been here before and are really looking forward to being back. And it's going to be an absolutely fantastic four days, I think. And definitely. Well, thank you very much for speaking to us. You're heading that direction, by the way. Yeah, heading towards the. <laughs> they're getting bigger. They're going to have to open more turnstiles and more gates, Flora. Very exciting. It's so sunny. Floor is buzzing, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have thought we were up at 5 a.m.? No. <laughs> we're going delirious. <laughs> How many coffees have you had? Zero. Zero? Oh my goodness. How's the man functioning? How, how many have you had? Two. God, I'd be jumping off the walls if I'd had two, got two <laughs> coffees by that time in the morning, which I can see is happening with Flora. And also, I've already been eyeing up the churros van. That's we have to go and visit Mimi's Bakehouse, by the way, down in the food oh, hall. Mimi's from Edinburgh, yeah? Yeah. yeah? As in They're here. Oh. Please tell me you've had their tray bake before. Actually, no, I've not, I'm not normally a cupcake kind of gal. Like, a, a churros is more my vibe, but I'm very much into going and having a Mimi's today, as, as well as everything else that's on offer. We'll have to fit that in our breaks in between the Facebook lives, guys. We might I, not be able to do that. Also, did you see the sweetie stalls? You can like smell them as you walk past. It's quite something. Is that what, is that your vibe? That's yeah. nah. Oh, some, some fudge, a tablet. Oh. Flora's looking forward to the fudge and tablet, guys. <laughs> Very exciting. Good morning, Carrie. Hello. My name is Hamish. How are you this I'm morning? Well, thank you. Beautiful morning. Yes. Have you travelled far this morning? I have. Well, not too far. Okter Makati. Oh, what time are you up? So, half five? Well, some of these guys are up at five o'clock this morning, so yeah. you're not alone. They you're were. not alone. They have were. you been at the show before? I have, yes. And what are you looking forward to being back? So this is a slightly whistle top tour for me. I have a daughter who's competing in the Working Hunter this morning, so it's very exciting. Um, but I need then I need to shoot off for a hair appointment. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is very exciting. Is she competing down at the Working Hunter, like down at Ring Six, down yeah. this morning? Yeah. Oh, that's very exciting. Yes. Yeah, Has she fun. got help, like grooms? Or are you here just supporting act? I'm just supporting. I've, I'm a non-pro mum. I've got no skills to offer. <laughs> 
<laughs> Absolutely. Well, I'm not going to hold you up any longer because I don't want you to miss your daughter uh, at the Working Hunter class. And okay. I think good luck to her as well. And enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you very much. Well, as you can see, guys, um, there's still lots of people coming in this morning and it is very busy and there is already a very big buzz around here on the showground, which is absolutely fantastic. The sun is starting to shine, which is really good, positive. Fingers crossed it stays here for the rest of the day and the wind doesn't get too, up too much. Um, we are about to go down to the new pavilion, down at the new members pavilion, just uh, down beside the main ring in the next five minutes. So please do join us down there very, very soon. There's going to be, we'll show you a bit about round about the building and, see, and speak to a few members when we're down there. So we'll catch up with you in five minutes' time. And thank you very much for uh, tuning in this morning, first thing. <laughs>